tour. This is our strip club here in Toowoomba. It is called The Vault. So Toowoomba in Queensland in Australia. So once you walk in the front doors, you check your ID, it's like a dark little space there. And you come around here and we've got all the lights on because it's 5am and we've just finished the ship. And this side is pool tables and we've got some games. And then this young side is called Tea Bar. It's more of like a pub. Um, so you can get drinks. It sort of opens earlier in the day. It usually opens at about 3 p.m. So yeah, you get a lot of people playing pool. We also do like poker tournaments and things like that. Um, and then coming over here, we have a little stage. Um, so what the deal is here is we can um, pay the girls to do a topless or a nude dance on here. There are some tipping chairs around here. Um, and then we've got a little vending machine there. So usually all of these TVs are on. We see um, sporting games and we've also got some banners of all of the girls. We've got some photos of us up there. Look, this is actually a photo of Poppy. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Am I before or after you? Before. And oh my god, it's Queen Boy! <laughs> this is our favourite security guard, say hi. Hi! <laughs> Tell us your name and three fun facts about you. Uh, my name's Crane Boy. <laughs> it's pretty fun, it's fun enough. It's our favourite. <laughs> So we come over here, so this is what's called the champagne room, so it's just a VIP private room. Um, it's also overflow for the general lab, um, that you can book it out um, privately. So the doors open up, and it's just like this really beautiful white leather couch situation. Um, and of course there's like music, and so we do that place in here. Birthdays, hens, divorce parties. What do you want? What do you want? We'll cream pie? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that lollipop? Do you want one? Yes. I want that one. Bring us two. Stop it. Okay, cute. Alrighty, so we will... Close that. Close that. <laughs> again because the lights are on but I just want to show you guys what it looks like so this is the shower room so basically you can book a minimum of 30 minutes and a maximum of like 10 hours if you want to <laughs> and this is usually always closed um, but what the go is is we usually start off with a generic lap dance so gear off the patrons sit along the, the couch here we can get some drinks delivered in here and then we'll usually have these puffy new puffy seat things pushed right up against the shower here and the patrons will sit here right on the ledge. What a good angle. <sighs> <laughs> you like my outfit? <laughs> um, and the these all have lights in them so the whole shower is lights, LED lights and there's also water coming from waterfall style down the walls. The shower is on for the duration of the show and then the girl or girls is in the shower after the lap dance they hop in. The patron is sitting here they can soak themselves up. We've got some loofers, we've got some rubber duckies, and um, yeah, just sort of wash themselves, do massages. Yeah, this is our little trolley of goodies. Got some loofers, got a car wash sponge, got some baby wipes, towels, all that good stuff. Are you good? Do you want to not? <laughs> do you want to leave us alone, please? And then we're gonna sneak through. Oh, I'll show you guys um, what it looks like normally for the patrons. Oh yeah. The lights on. What are you looking for? So this is the red light, and they also do have a blue light. So, and then the um, 
lights for the shower. I don't know where they are, but the shower is also all lit up as well with the waterfall coming down the wall there. And we'll just sneak through here. This is actually the bondage room. So this is the, the second specialty room, mm. the third room. <laughs> and this is not how we enter. Usually we'll enter through the actual grid here. We're just gonna sneak through because it's locked. And I'll pop these lights on. So again, we don't ever have the actual lights on when you're in here. But this is what it looks like. So this is the dungeon or the bondage room. So again, it's a minimum of a 30 minute booking and you can book it for as long as you would like to. Um, with one girl or multiple girls, with one patron or multiple patrons. So we've got like this nice grid up against the wall and we've got some restraints. It comes with a big box um, of props. So we've got paddles, we've got whips. What else do we have? Just sort of chains and leather. We've got some rope. Just sort of awesome light bondage BDSM equipment. And so same sort of deal. It's a generic lap dance, but you do get these sort of extras where you get to tie each other up or, you know, spank each other. And in saying that, you know, the girl doesn't need to do, of course, anything she doesn't want to do, doesn't feel comfortable with. Um, me personally, I'm not a BDSM kind of gal. I like inflicting rather than receiving. Um, and so I just make that clear to the patron um, when we start. Um, also, it's about sensory, so we've got things like feathers, and we do a lot of touch, massage, and standing on the patron, so it's not all about pain. Um, and then, yeah, so we usually exit through here. So we sneak back through the shower room. Oh, and I'll show you guys quickly what it looks oh, yeah. like. So this is what it looks like with the lights on in the bondage room. So again, it's that sort of red light. And like, look at how good the interior is in here. They've got like blood on the walls, <laughs> and we've got chains on the ceiling. And yeah, I just absolutely love this grid because it is so, so, so strong. So I'm going to do a chin up so you guys can see how strong it is. Like it's holding like a whole person's weight. It would probably hold like three people's entire weight. So it's this big like safe door. I really like it. It's like very dramatic. And it has like a big turn thing. But it's usually always open. So the club is a big U shape. So we're halfway through, we entered over there. This is the pub side, so it's a lot more casual. You just sort of come for some drinks after work, that sort of thing. It's less of a strip club vibe. In saying that, you can get dancers still full nude, etc., on the stage over there. Um, and so we'll keep going this way to the strip club side. So this side opens. Um, the first stage show started at 8pm, but the area and lap dance is open for about 6 p.m. So down here is how you enter the bondage room, which we were just in. So we'll show you guys just quickly the entryway, which is that bondage dungeon. So that opens up and there are just the patrons restrooms just there. Okay, we will come down the strip club side. So the whole bar wraps around. <laughs> just got some girls practicing pole up there. Um, but this is all the sitting areas. And there are two groups. And they are so small. And so down there is the exit and also the entry where we came in. So sort of just down there and around the corner. Um, so there's sort of like little couches, we've got some bar booths, we've got some little seats, and we've also got a whole front row of tipping chairs. So tipping at this club is enforced. So you can see the little signs there if you're sitting here and you're watching the girls, then please be tipping. And then we also have booths on either side of the stage. So these can be reserved and you can also get strippers booked in there with you guys if you have an event or just a large group of people. And on the stage, we have three poles. We have two stationary poles, so don't spin, and then we have one that spins. And in this club in particular, these are very tall poles. So I would say, I think they're about four meter, four meter high poles. Yeah, four meter high poles. Um, and there's only ever really one girl on stage at a time, or two if they're like friends or want to go together, like Poppy and I, we are generally always on stage together. And every single stage set goes for four songs. So this is one of the static poles. Spin. And we have our music and sound control, light control over there. And so the shape of the stage is a T. And so on either side we have the stationaries, and in the middle we have the. That looks really adorable. The spinning ball. Woohoo! And we always have this little um, couch thing here, so we do some Bucks shows on the stage. And it's also just like convenient to like yeah, dance here and like, you know, just 
just like a little prop that you can use if you want to, but it lives there. This is the other stationary pulse, so it does the same. So this is the area that is backstage. So this is only where the dancers come in, leave their bags, come out the stage, come out to the floor and come back in. So no patrons past this point, just staff and dancers. So we've got some props. We've got a bed because um, we do lots of shows. Got this big old curtain, got a ladder. <laughs> and then of course all of the girls' lockers. So we will show you our locker. So this is um, our friend Viper, a dancer here, actually just drew this freehand based on a photo that's on our Instagram of us. So that's me and that is Poppy and it's super, super cute. All I've got in there is just a couple of shoes. But as you can see, it is pleaser galore up in here. So this is the change room. So it's the end of the night, so it's not as clean as it usually is at the start of a shift. But basically we've got rosters, we've got rules, we've got um, the prices of dances. And we've got these really awesome Hollywood lights. Like how great are these? Like sometimes we do our makeup here. And yeah, they're really awesome. So I'll just turn that off. And there's, oh yeah, I should talk about the communal. We've got um, a really nice <laughs> house mum here, which is pretty rare for an Australian strip club to have a house mum, but she provides literally everything that we could possibly need. Hairbrushes, curlers, straighteners, deodorant, Q-tips, like even some spare makeup, um, etc., which is awesome. We've got more shoes, more lockers. We um, have this chair from when we used to have a barber situation. So we used to um, cut patrons' hair that's no longer a thing apparently, because um, apparently strippers can't cut hair, but you know, that's another thing. We've also got this really awesome ring light um, if the girls want to just take selfies behind this like cute little backdrop, which I think is super cute. Um, I like want to take this home, like this ring light is awesome. It's got cool light, warm light, amazing. We've also got a separate vending machine here, and this one is specifically for the strippers. So as you can see, we've got like tuna and rice, punani wipes, we've got tampons, like dinner food, um, and some snacks, you know, muesli bars, that sort of thing. And we will head back out and we'll go to the other side of the club and show you the one remaining specialty room. I'm just here at that main side stage where all of the dancers come on to the stage and hop off the stage. And so we've got all of our sanitation gear because COVID-19, we wipe this, the poles of the stage um, between every single dance, but we make it sexy, you know? We like, what, like wipe the poles and you wouldn't even tell, like watching a girl wipe the pole, you wouldn't even tell that she's got a paper towel in her hand. Um, we've got some sanitizer, that sort of thing. We've also got some chalk for doing tricks and holding your grip. shift to make sure that there are no dancers, no patrons, no one here um, because we have these absolutely everywhere. It is um, law in Australia. You cannot take videos or photos or even be on your phone in an adult entertainment venue. It is illegal and you can be fined for it. Um, so that's why we had to make sure that we were after opening hours and we were the pretty much only ones here and the people who were in it are of course not minding that they're in it. Uh, so this chair we call the waiting chair. So we sit here and wait while we're waiting for a controller to come in and open a um, private booking room for us. So just around the corner here, we're coming back full circle to where we entered. Um, just around here to the left is the blue room, which is our favourite room. It is the Netflix and chill room. Um, usually they need to make some popcorn for us, make some arrangements. So we sit on the waiting chair and we wait for the blue room. So this is how you exit the club. Everybody leaves this way. Just to the right here is the front door where we entered. But here on the left is the blue room. So this is the blue room and this is our favorite room. It's called the Netflix and Chill Room. We have games, we have bean bags, we have Netflix and Xbox. We play everything from Naked Twister, Strip You Know, basically whatever to cause your fancy. We also get um, popcorn in here. We can get some Uber Eats delivered in here if they want more of like a date night, girlfriend experience. But yeah, basically the same deal as the other rooms. We usually sit on the couch, do a little bit of a normal lap dance and then see whatever the client kind of wants to do. Um, but yeah, this is the best room. It is so much fun. It's really just chilling out and having snacks 
and eating. So we will head back out and that is pretty much the whole club <laughs> done. Thank you guys so much for watching our strip club tour. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what cool rooms you have at your strip club. If you have any suggestions because we'll put in, we'll put in some words to the owners. <laughs> Um, and subscribe, like the video, and let us know what you'd like to see next. Bye! Oh my god. And she's drunk, everyone. <laughs> Just so everyone's aware. <laughs> okay, muscles. Okay, muscles. Go off. <laughs> Give it to me. Oh, you like that? Oh. <laughs> You're so supportive. <laughs> like the pole. The pole's also supportive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do a trick. Do a flip. <laughs> no, don't. She's drunk. Don't make her do anything. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs>